Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Hey guys, welcome to Music Business Today where we give you the latest and greatest music business news. Yes, we do. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about a local artist, Laura Landon, as well as Berkeley and what they're now offering for students and Jack Johnson and his little help with the environment. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah, did you want to say that? I Go did. ahead. You're welcome back as well. Hi, everyone. <laughs> welcome back to Music Business <laughs> Today. I'm Hannah, as and, Kane just pointed out. <laughs> and I am Kane, and uh, we want to say a massive hello to our new I Love Nashville and I Love yes. Franklin fans out there, which is really cool to spread our little reach group out and for you guys to be a part of it. We've got some great stories coming up. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is a local girl, mm -hmm. Lara Landon, who's had some, she's a Christian artist, um, so some of you may not have heard of her, but she's had some great success with yeah. her crowdfunding and more like um, Kickstarter type campaigns. Yeah. And she's, she's got one. rave reviews about her voice. People say, you know, if you're tired of just the cliche pop artist, that she's definitely a person to watch and listen to that you'll be listening to for years to come. So Yeah, and I think this is a great example of people yeah. who have been able to um, utilize Kickstarter over and over again because uh -huh. she can now, she's sort of proven the fact that she's done it and she's now using some of her old content to yeah. sell her new stuff. So she's got she stuff is. to give away. Yeah, and um, her fund was, uh, her Kickstarter for her newest album, Free, that she's working on, planning on releasing early next year, uh, was actually completely funded and then some through Kickstarter. Yeah. So. I think it's real. It's really, really cool. Let's move along to Berkeley. And Berkeley have decided to introduce an online program mm -hmm. now this is um they're going to do an mba yeah. program is what they're offering which is really cool i mean berkeley if you're going to learn music you either go to belmont yeah. right here in town or yes. you go to berkeley um i mean i've got mixed feelings on this but you tell us what you think about it well first, huh? i know that their aim is not necessarily to get all the new you know incoming college freshmen and stuff into this program their main aim is like adults and people that have like associates degrees or haven't been able to complete schooling mm -hmm maybe because of their work schedules and stuff, to give them the opportunity to be able to get a bachelor's degree in music production or music business. So I think in that aspect, I think it's a really great thing that they're doing. The question I would wonder about is how many people are going to be turning to online schooling instead of actually going in and having the college experience and being with those right. teachers and other students. Well, I know that um, in Australia, it, because I guess the communities are so vastly apart yeah. in a lot of ways, online schooling is a massive thing. Mm -hmm. And in America, there's been some, you know, the consensus of trying to bring that in to raise more revenue for the schools. Yeah. So you can actually do one of the MBA courses, I think, for about 16 thousand bucks which is 60 percent lower Huge. than attending yeah. the, the school itself so yeah. um, it's a fantastic opportunity for all those people who haven't been able to you know get on board and perhaps mm -hmm. have the finances to get there it gives people mature age students also the ability to get in yeah, but um, you know there's always going to be that argument of I Is went there and so did, where does it sit on the ranking yeah, of it? Yeah, because you are missing out on some of the experience of mm -hmm. being in the classroom, but at the same time they still try to find ways to offer you in um, experiential learning is one of the things that they did say about their online program. Yeah. So they're definitely working and Berkeley has a really good name for itself as oh, a school. 100%. So I'm exactly. curious as to what their online program would be like. Well, if you've got access to the to the um, professors and you know yeah. if you've got the same access mm -hmm. to the same sorts of people and the other thing is it's incredibly difficult to study online I mean people go to yeah. college because they sort of need that motivation to get out of bed and get going. You have to be really so. self-disciplined to be able to You do certainly online, do, but so. we wish them all very well in yeah. the future. Um, Jack Johnson is collaborating with a bunch of community groups. He is. So he's, as we know, he's like the environmental guru. He's he stands which for I, everything environmental, which I is great. I love that about him. I think that's really great that he's picked a stance and that he also does stuff to help with that stance. He yeah. doesn't just say like this is where I stand and I try to be healthy and all of this kind of stuff. Well, he it's his brand. The community exactly. Yeah. To do that too. And his fans, you know, most of his fans are the, mm -hmm. along the same sort of elk. So that's fantastic. But he has yeah. joined with a bunch of community groups and he's hand chosen seventy five of these community groups across Europe and North Africa. Um, to North America. North America, I apologize. To um, jump on board with this initiative. And Sound Forest, which is a Nashville based yes, one, was one selected. one of the ones that he chose, which is yeah. exciting for Nashville. It um, is. Because. 
Well, it brings a bit of, yeah. of the community spirit. I mean, Nashville kind of isn't one of those towns that is big on the whole recycling thing. No. We don't really... It's, it's growing. Yeah. Even within Tennessee, but it's not as big as it is in other places no. in the U.S. So, you know, if we can combine the whole environmental awareness with music yeah. without sounding like a crazed, drugged up hippie, which he doesn't do and he does it very no, well. I wouldn't expect so, that he was a um, crazed, drugged up hippie. But I, so I think that he's doing a wonderful <laughs> job for the community and obviously a wonderful job for um, Nashville and bringing some awareness to the yes. Nashvillians about getting on board with some environmental yes, stuff. Yes, he is. Hard yeah. Rockers Luna have had a terrible time. Yeah, What's I going feel on? so bad for them. So their van was robbed in Dallas, Texas this weekend. Um, they're not from the U.S. They're, they're touring not. in the U.S. right they now. Are. And someone like broke onto their tour bus and just stole all everything. their personal belongings, everything. Yeah. So the, they're having a, a bunch of trouble because yeah. they're trying to see what can be, um, you know, the, the police can do. And it's obviously yeah. sometimes very difficult for the police not to, ha to handle situations that perhaps lend themselves to tourists or people who aren't a part of... Um, you know, yeah. the American, what am I looking for here? Aren't a citizen. Uh, they yeah. aren't a citizen. So, <laughs> so the police are having some trouble too, but um, they're saying, you know, if uh, anyone knows anything to yeah. get on board and help these rockers out. Well, and I'm wondering if maybe whoever broke onto the bus and stole all this stuff, if they're going to be a really not smart person and try to sell it on well, the internet. that's what they're saying. I they're saying that everything that happens because they had like so limited, that they can be caught. Yeah, limited release DVDs and all this really yeah. cool stuff that they were going to give away at their concerts and stuff like that. So someone sort of come in, ransacked everything, taken all their personal belongings, yeah. taken all these cool so DVDs. my question is, had they just left the tour bus unattended with my the question is, unlocked? did they take the booze and the drugs? That was going to be the first thing to aim for. Forget about the DVD. I don't think they're going to report the booze and the drugs. That's probably quite But we correct. know they were probably there. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Well, guys, that is all we have time for on this yes. episode of Music Business Today. We've enjoyed having your company. Um, spread the word, of course. If you're watching this, most likely on Facebook, we also have some Twitter accounts. We have a phone app that you can get. Which is brilliant. It's really easy to use. You can nice. also drop past talkopolis.com and check out all the other wonderful shows that we have. But until we see you again, thanks so much for dropping by.